You know, there's a difference between spirituality and religion. I believe that humans were designed to be spiritual, but, but, but we were not designed to be religious. And sadly, most humans don't know that. So we finish up um, only ever knowing the church's version of spirituality, which is just um, spirituality. Uh, religion is the organization of our spirituality. So we are made to be naturally spiritual all of our lives, but religion takes hold of spirituality and organizes it and chops it up into compliance. Uh, religion says that spirituality is expressed by doing this and doing that and being here and being there and being part of this and saying that and thinking that way. So what religion does, it starts to it starts to prescribe behaviors to us that it tells us when we do those behaviors, particularly in the church, that we are therefore spiritual people. And the more we are doing those things, the more spiritual we become. And it's just not true that human beings were not designed to be religious. God is nothing to do with religion. Uh, we flourish better when we are able to um, explore our spirituality and express it uniquely and in a best spoke way. And of course, I love the church. I spent 30 years pastoring in the church. And I think I found out too late what I'm telling you now. I think I was part of, I was part of passing on this flawed understanding and of course was subjected to it myself for years. So you pass on what you know. But at the latter part of my pastoring, I figured this out. I didn't have the words for it back then, but I figured out that human beings are are designed to be spiritual. And just because they don't fit my one size fits all idea of that in the church by behaving in a way that I want you to as the pastor or the leader, I can't conclude that you're not spiritual because um, I don't know what your spirituality looks like, nor you mine. And spirituality is bigger than the church. So you can have an expression of your spirituality in the church, but you are more spiritual than that church service or that Christian behavior. That is one aspect of your spirituality, but there are many other aspects of it that your soul needs you to experience and discover for you to continue to flourish as a spiritual being, rather than feel that the limitation of your spiritual development is inside the four walls, if you like, of a church experience. So I think often we mistake spirituality for religion and I don't want you to do that anymore because I did for years and I think I and I think I didn't help people figure out what I'm telling you now so I'm wanting to come and uh, and say in this version of me that I give my time over again I think I would have celebrated much more people's unique individual best spoke ways of being spiritual, I would have taught it more, I would have celebrated it more in the church so that people in the church got the idea in the culture I was creating that I do not have a one-size-fits-all idea of what I think can legitimately be called spiritual. Uh, and I think uh, that's what I did sometimes by default because I didn't know better, but I know better now. And I want you to know better now. So please don't let religion tell you this is what spirituality looks like and then condemn yourself if you don't feel you match up to that requirement because you your spirituality is vast 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 and your church experience is only a small expression of that so spirituality and religion are different things you were created to be spiritual not religious don't let one become the other.